All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you the proper, I don't know why I say we, it's just me in here. <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you the proper way to sharpen a, uh, a bandsaw blade. So I've got a Woodland Mills HM122. It's a um, sawmill, Runs, uses a, uh, the sawmill uses a, band, a bandsaw blade, okay? Now in a previous video, I actually was hand sharpening it with just a handheld grinder. And it did work. I wasn't lying or nothing. I did get several more passes out of a, uh, a hydro pole or a log or whatever you're using. But definitely it wasn't, it's not consistent. You know, you're just using your arms, you're, you're pulling stuff around. It's not the same every time. And that's where this tool is going to come in. Now, with all due respect, I always pay respect where it's due. And I didn't um, come up with this idea. I did find it on another YouTube channel and I will link the fella's uh, channel below. I just wanted to put it on this channel because I'm starting to do more um, sawmilling videos and stuff like that. I want to spread the, spread the word because although I like the Woodland Mills uh, brand, their chainsaw sharpener is so much money. It's like $800 Canadian and I paid $150 for this little Canadian, uh, $150 Canadian for this uh, sharpener. It's actually a chainsaw sharpener and I just kind of modified it. So let me bring you in here and I will uh, show you. All right, here's the... Uh, chainsaw sharpener. So it's a bench mounted electric chainsaw sharpener, uh, 2.1 amps, <clears throat> 3,500 RPM. I don't have a model number on it, unfortunately, but there are different, different ones at, uh, Princess Auto Harbor Freight. There's a really, really small version of this. Um, this is the one I got. It comes with three different blades. I picked the middle blade cause it seemed to uh, sit in the groove of the tooth the best. And I, I just mounted this to the table using a couple of deck screws, two deck. I didn't have a washer, so I literally, <laughs> I literally screwed four screws into it and it's, it's plenty safe. Um, it's temporary, temporary permanent. So let's grab the blade. I'll put it on the table and, um, I'll show you kind of the angle that I've been running at and just the, the technique that I'm using and I'm getting like extremely good results with this thing. Uh, I even ran through a couple of huge staples, pretty much tore a tooth off the last one, and I was able to actually kind of massage it and, and get it back, and it's cutting again. I wouldn't say it cuts like brand new, but it's it's very close. Like the resistance near the, you know, when you're pushing and you got so much resistance, and it's like, man, it's almost not worth it to use the blade anymore because it's so slow. Take it off, an eight-minute sharpen, put it right back on, and you're good. So, yeah, let me load up a blade here, and we'll uh, show you what's going on. First thing you're definitely going to need, you need eye protection because the sparks fly all over the place. You need a decent pair of gloves because, you know, it's a sharp blade. Uh, if you got a really old rusty blade, you may, um, you may want some spray lube. And I only say that because, uh, you know, when I take the blade here, place it over, I'm going to stick it in here. So I... Like I said earlier, I modified this. There's some pieces here to hold a uh, chain and I took it off and now I'm left with just this little thin thing here and this bandsaw blade sits perfectly right there. Plug this in. Now I need a better setup because I'm starting to scratch my wall, but essentially what I've got my um, angle set up on and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's almost bang on. So. If I look at the back of my machine here, it's right between 50 and 60 degrees. So 55 degrees is where the arrow is. And I'm getting pretty good cuts like that. Now, it's all manual with this thing. It's not like there's a way to advance it. You just gotta do it by hand. And I can already see some of my teeth, like I've hit stuff and, you know, I think I've sharpened this blade already. I know I have, I've sharpened it twice, I think. So this will be my third time sharpening it. I'm still getting good cuts out of it. So yeah, let me fire it up. Normally I'd have some ear protection on, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going for a long time here. Now all I do is I'm not, I'm not sharpening the top of the tooth. I'm sharpening kind of just call it between the two teeth, the middle, and then right where the hook is there. And you'll see in a second, right where this blade sits. And I'm gonna mark my blade so I know where I started. kind of holding the blade in 
down inside of this so I can advance it. And I'm just touching it. You can see the big burrs from just wear and tear. And then you're just touching it enough to uh, put an edge on. If you go too much, you're just gonna waste your blade. All right, there you have it. So if you're new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, lately, we've been doing a lot of sawmill and stuff. We do got the homestead we're working on. <laughs> we do got car and uh, truck videos like normal. Lots of stuff coming up. Right now, this summer, our main goals are focusing on our wraparound porch and then uh, getting our chicken coop fired up. So that's why I bought the sawmill because I wanted to uh, do a wraparound porch with a lot of my own lumber and uh, fix up the sawmill. So if you're into that kind of stuff, hey babe. <laughs> Thank you. It's my birthday today too. That was funny. Cue the, cue the wife's happy birthday video. No? Okay. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next one. I'll leave a link in the description for the original YouTube video that I borrowed this from and where you can actually find this. I'll try and get it on Harbor Freight for you. All right, take care.